And as I said, this is a bit subjective. I think for x1, it's kind of very clear that this variable actually has to be set to true. And the reason is the following. If you look at all of the clauses here, they are connected by ands. So if one of these clauses here becomes false, the whole Boolean formula here is also set to false. Now here x1 is in a very <laughs> lonely position, so to say, because x1 makes up a whole clause. So if we set x1 to false, then this formula here, the whole formula here, will also become false. So it's clear that x1 has to be set to true. And it's also easy to see that because the variable just appears once. And this can be done in polynomial time. It's, it's rather easy because you just go through this whole Boolean formula here, or an algorithm could do it, then it finds a clause with just one variable. And it knows if you have a clause with just one variable, then it's immediately clear how you have to set this. So for example, if we had not x1 here, we would also know that we would have to set it to false. So what's the other variable where I think that it's rather easy to see if it should be set to true or false? Well, x2, if you look around it, so here's x2, here's not x2, um, not x2, not x2. So it appears a couple of times, it appears as x2 and as not x2. So without trying any other assignments, I think it's not that easy to see. x3 is the same. So here we have x3, here we have not x3, here again we have x3, not x3. That's also not easy to see. So what about x4? Well, the thing with x4 is this variable appears only once, namely here. There's no x4 anywhere else. And that is why, in my opinion, it's very easy to see what to do with x4. The thing that makes sat hard is when variables appear in different forms, right? So, so it appears here as x1 and here it appears at, as not x1. So if we set x1 to true, this clause here becomes satisfied, but we get one less variable to satisfy the clause over here. And vice versa, if we set x1 to false, then this clause here becomes satisfied, but we get one less variable over here because x1 is now set to false, so we have to either set x3 to true or x5 to true. So if a variable appears just once, we have nothing to lose. We can just set x4 to true, satisfying this clause here, and it has no secondary effects on any of the other clauses. And of course, an algorithm could also do this very easily. The algorithm just looks at each variable and counts how often does that variable appear, and if a variable appears just once, it knows how to set it. So here we have x4, we would set it to true. If we had not x4, we would set it to false. So let's try a bit more challenging example, actually. We have found two very easy pre-processing rules for sat. If there's a clause with just a single variable, and of course, if the Boolean formula is written in conjunctive normal form, then we know how to set that variable. And second pre-processing rule that we found out for x4, if a variable just appears once in a whole formula, then we also know how to set that variable. So now let me give you one more example, which is going to be a bit more challenging. 